Do you recognize this song? It's K-pop girl group Girls' Generation's 2007 debut song, Into the New World. Amid Thailand's democratic movement against the monarchy and military rule continuing day after day, Girls' Generation's song, Into the New World, draws keen attention. On October 16, Thai police used water cannon to disperse protesters who had defied a ban aimed at ending protests against Thailand government, and since then, Thai K-pop fans' protests came to action. At the anti-government rally, Girls' Generation's debut song, Into the New World, was sung by Thai people. The song has been a history of being sung at South Korean pro-democracy protests since in 2016 as an expression of hope for a brighter future. In the 2016-17 candlelight protests, South Koreans gathered to demand former President Park Geun-hye's impeachment, and the protest music included Girls' Generations Into the New World. One of the protesters in Thailand said they want to write a new history following South Korea's 1987 Gwangju pro-democracy uprising and 2017 candlelight protest. Thailand is not the first country to use a Korean song at anti-government protests. On June 14, 2019, a Korean song, Marching for Our Beloved, filled a charter garden in Hong Kong when Hong Kong citizens gathered to protest against the extradition bill. In the middle of the protest, a Hong Konger sang Marching for Our Beloved in Korean and Cantonese. Marching for Our Beloved is an iconic protest song of South Korea. In May 1980, protesters gathered in the square located in Gwangju City to reaffirm their commitment to democracy after the decades of dictatorships. However, the South Korean military regime killed hundreds of pro-democracy protesters and laid siege. The song was written after a year of the massacre for a spirit wedding of activist Yoon Sang-won, who died in the Gwangju pro-democracy uprising, and his beloved Park ki -sun. Over time, the song has taken on a symbolic meaning, representing the grief of those who died fighting for their democratic rights. However, the song was banned in the 80s, and it wasn't officially recorded until 1991. Additionally, the song is not only sung by Thailand and Hong Kong protesters, but also by labor activists in Japan, Taiwan, the Philippines, and Indonesia. Thai K-pop fans also raised funds as well as awareness about the Thailand's democratic movement. According to Reuters, K-pop fan clubs in Thailand raised 4 million baht to support the demonstrations. Especially the fan club of Girls' Generation in Thailand collected 780,000 baht. In Thailand, many of the young protesters are known to be K-pop fans. This was Sumi Yu from Korea Now.